I'm coming on on Monday evening um, to talk about Queen Holla. Most of you all know her as Holly Lottery Frappe, if I'm pronouncing it right. But I'm coming on to talk about the story of her granddaughter taking responsibility and handling her grandmother's um, situation. First of all, it's not an easy situation. I have a sister. She took care of my mother and grandmother bedridden. And she had to have help from her other kids in order to do the job. It is not easy when you're taking care of anyone, not because of their age, but anyone that's impaired or handicapped, bedridden, even a baby. It takes a lot of work and no one understands the feeling unless they're there. Um, I understand the granddaughter, Shell, she quit her job. And that was really big of her to do so. She quit her job. She stepped in to take care of her grandmother. She took full responsibility. Now, Miss Holla, as everybody know, I never, ever heard an older lady curse like Miss Holla. Miss Holla is no joke. Do you think that if Miss Holla did not want Shell and Shell's husband, Shell's daughter, Shell's stepdaughter, do you think if Miss Holla didn't want those people around, she wouldn't curse everybody out and tell them to get the hell out of her house and she mean it? Miss Holla knew exactly what she was doing. She wanted to set her kids up, her grandkids, so that they could have a better life. They deserved a better life. They made her live longer. Those kids gave her joy. She loved it. She loved singing with them. She loved laughing with them. I don't care what anybody say. It takes a lot of work and you have to be paid. Because if you give up your job, how else are you going to get paid? And Miss Holla understood that and wanted her to get paid because Miss Holla knew that she was bedridden and it was nothing she can do with the money but play her tickets. And as everyone could see on the videos, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, anytime Miss Holla wanted to play her numbers, they made sure Miss Holla had everything she wanted, including her coffee. She wanted her coffee every single day until she couldn't swallow anymore. And they gave it to her. She wanted her watermelon. They gave it to her. She had Chanel earrings. She had Gucci. She had everything that she wanted. And they gave it to her. They did not deprive Miss Holla of anything. Because you know if they did, Miss Holla would say it. And when she was saying that they were taking her money, that was just a figure of speech. So a lot of people said, oh, well, she said that they were taking her money. Miss Holla was only joking because Miss Holla knew that she couldn't do anything with her money anyway in her position. She knew that. She was just making a joke, making a video. And that was why she came back with her heart. They didn't make her come back. Miss Holla already know. What can Miss Holla do? She couldn't use that money. She wants them to be happy. She wants her granddaughter to be happy. She wants Shell, Shell's daughter to be happy. She wanted everyone that made her happy to be happy. Because if she didn't, she would have been cursing on every video or you would have never saw any videos, period. So whatever Miss Holla got, she made a way for her children and her, her grandkids, rather. And I would do the same thing. Whoever is there for me in the end is who would reap my benefits, period. I don't care what anybody say. They're not stealing money from her. They're earning money. They're earning money. And Shell gave up her family. You know how people go home, they have a husband, they have kids, they go home and cook and have a normal life. She had to include her life with her grandmother. She shared her family with her grandmother. 
and they shared their love with Holla, and she loved it. They were supposed to get paid. That's work because they could have been doing anything else. They could have been taking a vacation. They could have just not been there, not wanting to be there, but they were there supporting Miss Holla. Whether people think, oh, they're doing this for money. Everybody on the internet is doing it for money. Everybody is after money every which way you look. Some people are after money and they don't even deserve it. At least Shell Bell and her family, they deserve it because they were there. They were there doing the work, picking her up, changing her, dressing her, Chanel, Gucci, this, that, and the other, changing her bed sheets, taking her to the doctor, doing this and that. They deserve to be paid and Miss Holla knew it. So people need to leave that family alone. I wouldn't care if they had $100 million from Miss Holla. That's what she wanted them to have, whether people like it or not. She made her kids happy because you know why? Her grandkids, you know why? Because they made her happy. So whether people, whatever they say, they could say what they want to say. But you could see clearly that she was happy all the way to the end. Anybody can curse like Miss Holler at her age. I never heard of anything like it. She would have cursed everybody out on on the video. They would have had to edit it or you wouldn't have seen Miss Holler anymore. She wouldn't do it. Anybody that looked at Miss Holler, you know she would not do it. She wanted to help her kids have a better life because she had something to help them with. And that was her personality. And she did it. And she had someone that could make her famous. And that was Shell. And she appreciated Shell for bringing her family and including her family because Shell wasn't selfish. Some people wouldn't do it. Period. No one ever ever said anything about what Shell had to put up with. My grandmother was hell on four wheels, and I love her. And you know Miss Holler was the same way. Shell had to go through a lot. But guess what? She loved her grandmother, and she went through it. People don't know how many times Shell has gotten cursed out by Miss Holler. But she's always saying positive things and uplifting her grandmother. And if it was a situation of abuse, Miss Holler, <laughs> you know better than that. You know Miss Holler wasn't going for that. I wouldn't care if she couldn't walk because my grandmother and my mother, my grandmother was 97 when she passed. My grandmother and my mother were bedridden. And do you know my grandmother controlled that entire house in the bed? It's something about being older. Can't nobody mistreat them. Because it will come to the light. And Miss Holla was in her right mind all the way to the end. So she was able to speak and say so if it was so. There are many people that are older and they get mistreated and they can't speak. They're not verbal. They can't see nor can't speak. Then people don't know what's going on with them. Well, that wasn't the case with Miss Holla. So everybody should thank uh, Shell Bell and everyone online. They're doing the same thing. And they're talking about people and everything. And they're becoming famous and monetized all over the place. So why not give people credit that was there for an older lady, made her live longer. Well, God let her live longer, but they were there to give her inspiration and to help her live longer by making her happy. When the doctor said she was gone, bye-bye. Look how long she lived after that. You know why? She had joy around her. She was happy. And when she got sick of him, she would tell him, get out of my room. And she meant it. So I say, Shell Bell, you did a great job. Congratulations to whoever got paid that was there helping you. Because it takes work and it takes more than one person to do it. So whatever Miss Holla left you guys, whatever Miss Holla 